Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and today we are playing Planet Base. Ooh, Planet Base. That's that sounds nice, doesn't it? So we're on this uh, Mars-like planet, except it's got a very thick CO2 atmosphere, uh, and we're going to start building out um, the start of our base. Uh, if I sound like I'm dying, I probably am, because uh, I've got a cold. Um, so. I, I like the theme of the buildings because you've got biodomes and things rather than just having like a massive dome and huge city. But basically this is a huge network of um, thingies. Uh, so what do we need first? Well, we need to get an oxygen generator, otherwise we can't do anything. We need an airlock to access the facility. But one other thing that's very important, we need power. Uh, so we're going to get some solar panels to deal with that. Airlock has been constructed. Thank you. We're also building the canteen over here, which will be kind of a midpoint of some of the base. So we can have a dorm coming off here and things like that. Meanwhile, we need to build a connection. Asteroid landing there. That's fine. It's only like a few hundred meters away. Yeah, totally. That that kind of means that it won't hit us again, or will it? Uh, right, so we've got power now. However, we still need um, oxygen to be able to... Well, we still need a source of oxygen to be able to do anything. Uh, and that requires water, because you can electrolyze... No, not electrolyze. Possibly electrolyze. You can turn water into hydrogen and oxygen. One oxygen for every two hydrogen molecules that you get. And we can use the hydrogen for fuel, possibly. Yes, I know. Uh, we're going to speed up time so this happens significantly faster. Right, that should start pumping oxygen everywhere. Excellent, people can now come inside. Uh, right, so now that we've got an oxygen atmosphere, we can get rid of the colony ship. Uh, next, we want a dorm. So have a dorm coming off this side. Lick that up. Uh, we also want a biodome to grow food and have starch and things like that. Our structures are out of power because, you know, we're using only solar panels. Did not remember that. Well, let's fix that and get construction of a wind turbine up. Died of asphyxiation? Oh, you're kidding, right? Is anyone not dying of asphyxiation? Oh yeah, that's probably because we lost power. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Um, well, we lost seven of our people. Uh, we still have the robots though, so that's fine. Um, well, in order to get more people, we need to build a landing pad. The biodome is out of power. No, it's not. Right. Now that major minor setback has been uh, done, we need to get some food on the go, uh, and also some starch so that we can produce bioplastics. So I'm going to choose some uh, tomatoes and onions as the food that everyone's going to be having, so that everyone has as many breath. Um, oh, I also need to build the bench, water fountain, TV screen. And then over here I need to build the bed. I think that'll be fine. Yeah. Table has been built. Hooray! 
this IKEA packaging here. Yes, I, I know you're low on water. Look, it's there. You can drink. And now you're tired. Well, that's your own fault, isn't it? So that we can survive uh, power outs. Let's build a power saver. Power converter. Power collector. I was going to get that name eventually. And with that, we should be able to survive, like, the night when it's not windy. Uh, right, so now that we've got that... Oh, these are going to need a biologist, aren't they? And I don't think I have one. Where can I find what people I have? I don't know. But we really need a landing pad so that we can get colonists. So I think that's going to be our number one priority for now. Get a landing pad, get some more colonists here so that I can kill them. Excellent, we have a landing pad. Uh, quickly, landing permissions. Just one colon, actually no, colonists and traders. Uh, we want biologists. Yeah, we've only got two workers and an engineer. This is not good. This is not good. Well, I think we have enough meals to last us. Um, swap over here. Yeah, we have plenty of meals. Uh, power storage is critical. We're about to lose power again, folks. losing more power, then we may as well get some more power s facilities up online, like, um, let's get another wind farm up. Now, I really, really, really need a, a, a colony ship to come down and say, hey oh, I've got biologists. Because otherwise, our food is going to die. <laughs> Meanwhile, what can we do to expand? Well, we can add... Colony! Yay! Who do we get? Who do we get, boss? We got a colonist. No, no, no. We got a biologist and a medic. The people that I need. Biologists, quickly! Our plants are failing. Help them. Wherever you are. Not gonna work at all. Trade ship has landed. What do you have? Um, you have a carrier bot. That's okay. You got some food, you got some beer, got spares, got metal. Not really anything of interest to me. Nah, you can go away. Where's our biologist? That's our medic. Ah, there you are. Right, it's going into our second night. Uh, thankfully, we have enough power reserved that uh, we should be able to survive. Uh, right, what else do we need to work on? Well, uh, it would be very useful if we had some way of creating some more resources. So let's be let's get a mine. Thankfully, we're right next to a mountain with the outpost, uh, with the airlock. So we can easily get people to and from. Ah, we have our first vegetables, uh, which means we need a uh, food processor. Mine has been built. 
Good, right, so any miners or uh, workers or engineers, I can't remember which one, workers probably, will go into the mine and then we'll start producing ore. And that ore will probably just get thrown out somewhere because we have no use for it yet. Uh, to which I say, hey oh, let's get a processing center. To process these ores into nice, nice metals. Expansion reached. I managed to get new colonists who arrive at my base. Yes, I did. Though I did that ages ago, why are you giving it to me now? Oh, hang on, this isn't hooked up. That needs to be hooked up, otherwise we're not getting power from it. Stupid. Power storage critical. About to lose power again, folks. We're gaining power again. Thank you, solar panel. Let's build another one. Let's build a bigger solar panel. No, no, a medium one will be fine. What do we have here? We have a trader. What do you have? Ooh, you have semiconductors. I don't think I need them yet. However, we do have an extra biologist, so uh, maintaining the plants is going to be easier. Since we've got eight people, let's consider adding another bed so that we can have half our people sleep. So it's a shift kind of thing. Half our people can eat a uh, processing plant. Yes, we want to be able to process metals and bioplastic. Bioplastic we can create from starch, hence the potatoes. Right. Bunker's been built. Thank you. Um, I think we are going to need an additional power collector, but let's make this one big, like really big, because we have the resources. Because if we make it massive, then, um, you know, we can scrap this one. Self-sufficiency has been reached. Thank you. Bioplastic processor has been constructed. Power storage is low, is it? We've only got 3,000. And now we have a max capacity of 12.5 thousand. A significant improvement. Hang on. 5,000. 12.5 thousand. What's the cost between a small and a large? So the small one is one, large one is four. So technically, if we had four of these, that gives 20. So this is inefficient of resources, but it's more efficient of space. Colony ship, you have uh, landed some more colonists. We now have nine people in the colony. That's decent. And now we are processing ore into metal and uh, processing starch into bioplastic. Very good. Uh, one thing that we're going to need, actually, is a med bay, because we don't really want any of our people getting sick and then dying. Uh, and we're also going to need to build some medical supplies, so a medicinal herb should be good. We can also scrap this now. Since we only need one power collector, Trading ship has landed. What do you have? You have beer. Um, well, I, I would buy the beer, but um, we don't have a bar to sell it in. And I don't really want alcohol all over the floors after someone has, you know, become a bit tipsy. 
Right, so what's the goal of all of this? Well, I would like to increase the capacity of this colony so that it can support a hundred people. Which means we're going to need um, a lot more things. So first of all, uh, to be able to create lab, uh, to be able to create medical stuff, we need a lab. Uh, that's the med packs and things from the medicinal herbs. Um, we're also going to need a storage facility so that we can store all the stuff that's still outside. Uh, storage. Set out, I can't place it over here and just place a massive one. Now, shall we make a massive one? Because I don't really see the need. Right, we've got 11 people at the colony now. So, uh, let's add another bed. Let's have another table. Let's have another one. Another asteroid just nearly hit us. That's a bit disconcerting. Right, so we've got the lab. Lab, you need just a workstation. And then we can start creating med packs. Power storage is low. Yeah, we're into the thousand. Luckily, it's about to be day, so solar panels are going to go back in line. Let's turn off this building, turn off this building. Preserve as much power as possible. Turn everything back on. Oh no, no, now it's going down again. Now it's going up again. Wow, this thing is really, really weird. Right, we've got another ship. It's another colonist ship. We've gained three more people, now we're up to 14. Good things are happening. The slight setback at the beginning where, you know, half our population died to asphyxiation wasn't really fun. I can't imagine it would be. Uh, however, because we've got more people, I'm thinking we need, no, not that. We need a bigger bio lab, like a massive bio lab, like this big, and just plonk it on the mountain. Uh, no. Um, probably build it here and then we can have a ton of plants and stuff however that's gonna cost seven of no we don't have enough for that five two five two five two five two let's build the five Actually, no, 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 no. Not gonna build it yet. Not yet. Got another colony ship here. Got another person. Who's this? Oh, a biologist. Excellent. Now, uh, I'm gonna build a water tank. Just in case we start running out of water. Even though I can't really find a place to build it. There we go. Water tank. because you never know when that may happen. Uh, alternatively, we can get Starport, um, which can land visitor ships as well. Alternatively, we could build this fun signpost. Yeah, a signpost might be nice. Well, is there anything else that would be, you know, essential for us to have? Since we haven't had a natural disaster happen yet, like a sandstorm or a meteor shower, um, I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, so, uh, this is part one of Planet Base. Uh, join us next time where we will attempt to start constructing, uh, well, building out and constructing our own components and weapons and things to sell to the traders because weapons sell for quite a lot and therefore we can get a lot of money and we also need a factory to start producing spares as we're gonna run out 
soon because we only have nine. Look, a trader ship has shown up. What do you want? Well, you have uh, constructor bots and carrier bots and semiconductors. Um, I don't think I need any, any of them. Thank you for landing, trader ship. Okay, so join us in the next episode where uh, things uh, I have mentioned beforehand might happen. Until then, my name has been Zero Jake. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.